Hey you, welcome! Today we're going to be going over all the Pokemon news, all the latest happening trends inside of the Pokemon community. So why don't you pull up a chair, sit down, let's hang out, and let's chat some Pokemon. Now, quick spoiler alert, not a whole bunch going, uh, going on in the way of news this week. There was a ton of news last week. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, jump to the previous video. There was so much going on, my head's still spinning from it. But we do have some things to go over, and we're going to jump right into new records being set at auctions. A new record has been set for a first edition sealed booster box, and it is they are creeping up there. This one sold on January 15th at a Heritage Auction for $408,000. That is insane. It is creeping ever so close to that half a million mark. That beat the recently set record at the same auction house, Heritage, Heritage Auctions. Uh, earlier in November, I think it was. Yeah, it was uh, for $360,000. So they are creeping up and quick uh, with all these box braces box breaks going on the supply is going to be running out and these numbers are just going to keep getting driven skyward uh, so that that's pretty fun uh, another auction again heritage was the presentation blastoise card uh, graded cgc 8.5 uh, now for those of you who are, aren't in the know about that uh, the presentation card was a test card printed by wizards uh, wizards of the coast to showcase to, to comic book shop to, to game shop owners that this is what an English Pokemon card will look like. Only two were ever made and only one is known to still be around and it got graded an 8.5 by CGC. It got ever so close to dethroning Charizard for the most expensive Pokemon card out there. Now Asterix Pokemon Monster card because the Illustrator card still holds that title I think at about 900,000 so pretty crazy that Blastoise just about just about cleared the the king charizard something really cool about this presentation card is the back art for the pokemon cards hadn't been finalized at that point so it was a blank white uh, so very distinctive i mean you, you look at the card and i believe it's the team rocket art uh, on a on a base set blastoise card just trying to go off memory uh, but you flip it over and you're looking at a clean white slate there's nothing there no pokemon no writing nothing uh, so a real unique card but that one like I said, got ever so close. The record, $369,000. This Blastoise went for $360,000 even. So it was right there. Will it overtake it? I mean, personally, I think so. At some point, right? It has to. There was only ever two made, you know, where base set, first edition, perfect 10 Charizards are just a handful in the world. There's, there's only one of these known, so... My my theory is in, in the next five to ten years, this will overtake that Charizard because simply there's just one of them around. Moving on, we're going to get into some hot topics that are going on in the in the, the Pokemon community right now. And I feel like i got to address Full Art Trainers. Full Art Trainers, for those of you that don't know, they are the ultra rare or secret versions of standard trainer cards and sets that, that Pokemon started putting out, I want to say about four or five years ago. And they're, they're cool. Uh, basically, everything I'm about to go over is solely my opinion, um, minus the fact that they have gone up a staggering amount in just a very short time. And you don't have to look any further than, than the Secret Rare Lily from, from Ultra Prism. Mid-November, it was going for $90, $100. So still a very valuable card. And through recent recent months re recent days really it's doubled in value it is two hundred dollars now is the going rate for for an ungraded raw lily and it's pulling the rest of the full art trainers with it now uh, a little more light on the subject it's typically the the, the female full art trainers and there, there's a whole a whole other rabbit hole to go down there but Right now, basically all we know is that the full art trainers are, are increasing in value at a, a staggering rate, and I believe it's because some larger YouTubers uh, were mentioning that they were an investment piece, they were they were enjoyable to collect, um, and they believe that they'll hold value, which I believe is true for all rare cards. You know, rare, hollow rare, ultra rare, the longer you hold it, the more valuable it'd be. That to me is pretty simple and straightforward, but there's a definite correlation between YouTubers talking about it and value skyrocketing. So I don't really think that this is sustainable. Again, all my opinion, I think give it 
two, three months, these trainers kind of start coming back down to earth and, and be worth more because now they, now people that were on the fence about buying them, uh, went out and bought them. So the, the supply will be, will be less for the people trying to track them down in the future. But I, I think, I think it's going to come back down to come back down to earth. I don't think you'll see a Lily in the next six months over $150. I just don't know that that's sustainable. And, and my thought process there isn't that I hate on full art trainer cards and more on that in a moment. My thought process there really boils down to what makes a card valuable in my mind. Again, I'm no investing expert. Uh, I'm no collection ex expert, but when I think of the cards that I value, they are the cards that remind me of my childhood. They remind me of the story. They remind me of, of something specific and these trainers can do that for people. I'm not saying they can't, but these trainers, I don't feel are going to hold that same nostalgia over time. They're still a rare card. They're still absolutely gorgeous to look at. Um, but $200 for, for a four or five year old card that really has no, no real gigantic character. You know, this isn't a Pikachu. This isn't a Charizard. This isn't a Mewtwo. Uh, this isn't a legendary Pokemon from from one of the games. This is this is a, a trainer, and I, I do need to kind of summarize all of that with just because I feel that these values will again fall down back to earth. That doesn't mean these cards aren't amazing to look at. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't have them in your binder. It doesn't mean that they won't be valuable. I'm again, I'm no expert. So in six months, if they double in value again, you know, you're looking at a Lily, a secret rare Lily for $400, then, you know, put my foot in my mouth. I'm, I'm just voicing my opinion. I think these will come back down. If you are itching to have one of these in your collection, please give it a few months. I, I bet you'll save a, a dollar or two. Um, that being said, it kind of sounds like I might've had a little bit of hate on floor art trainers. I actually just ordered a, a Japanese floor art trainer that I had no idea existed until about a week ago because of all this. So even I'm benefiting, you know, I, I, I get eyes on this brand new card that I can't wait to share with you guys. As soon as I get it in, it's going to be my next post up on Instagram. And that seems like a good transition for a self plug. If you guys aren't following me already on Instagram, go and jump over there. My profile name there is the same as it is here, just separated by a period. It's going to be swift.shock on Instagram. And I, I try and do my best to post twice daily, but be on the lookout for that Japanese floor art trainer card. I had no idea it existed, and I, I believe it's truly rather unique. Kind of springboarding off the floor art trainer board, we're going to go into kind of a, a question uh, a question that I posed. You know, what news do you guys want covered? And I posted it on my, my Instagram story, and I got a, a few different responses. Um, two of them had already been answered in my last video, so I won't be going over those. But the floor trainer transition comes in at the rest of the Battle Styles Japanese set getting leaked. Now, there are translations still coming through, but the floor trainers for this new Battle Style set look pretty good. But that's going to transition me well into the first question. This comes from the, the user Stevie Lucian. He's actually here on YouTube as well as Stevie Lucian YT. If you guys haven't already, check him out. Uh, get, do yourself a favor, check him out. He's, he's got some good content and he's got really big plans for his channel. But his question comes in at, what does the new battle styles mean for the TCG and the TCG playing style? And this is, uh, I feel, a really fantastic question. Um, I, I do know that, that Stevie Lucian is looking to get into playing the game. I'm actually looking forward to giving him as much information as I can, both via chatting with him and, and the video that's coming out very, very soon about how to play the game. Expect that next week or two. Um, but for those of you who don't know, the new battle style set. So right now, uh, it, right now it's mid-January. Shining Fates comes out next month, February. The next month after that is battle styles, and battle styles is bringing in a, a a game mechanic, liken it to the the team plasma or the team aqua sets from from past, where there's going to be specific effects for specific Pokemon, and on the base it sounds really kind of scary. Um, you know, new mechanic means more rules and the cards are going to be super self-explanatory. And my personal belief is it's going to make it easier to build your own deck. Um, right now you've got this pool of just, you know, countless cards to, to pick and choose from and try and make work. And, you know, you don't know that that, that 
that one EX card is going to work well with this trainer card. Um, so there's going to be a lot more testing for those of you that don't know that, you know, you put a deck together, see if it works or not. Um, with battle styles, they're adding mechanics that say rapid strike and single strike to two different teams, basically. And they're going to have special energies and trainers that will help you out there. And I think that's wonderful, especially for, like I said, the newcomer. You know, now you don't have to worry, is this VMAX card going to work well with this trainer? Because the VMAX is a rapid strike and so is the trainer. So you put those two together and you're ready to rock. Um, you got a lot better chance of building a deck a lot faster. So I think it's really going to improve and streamline uh, new people getting into the deck building business. Uh, as far as how it, it affects the meta and, and the like, I'm not advanced enough to say that, but I'm, I'm interested to see it unfold. Uh, I like being a, a student of the game and watching watching the masters make their moves and, and kind of learning from that. Rolling on to the, the, the second question. I am going to go over this a little bit. This came from uh, Pokemon Mystery Netherlands, and it says, uh, What are they doing for the 25th anniversary, and why do I keep hearing Katy Perry's name, LOL? I love this question. They are doing a bunch for the 25th anniversary. I did cover that in the last video, um, so go and jump over there. But as far as the Katy Perry partnership, she was one of the big flagship announcements, and we have not much else to go on aside from Katy Perry has partnered with Pokemon to make a new Pokemon music program. Now, you know, you can take that and run with it a million different ways. Realistically, I think she's going to make a couple songs for Pokemon, maybe the Pokemon in a Pokemon theme, and maybe she remakes the Pokemon theme. Who knows? Um, but it's, just, it's very strange their wording, uh, program, music program. Um, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what they're what they're planning there. Um, but that's really about it. Like I said, a real calm, easy news week, and like I said, I needed it. It, it really last week was a lot to cover in a short time. Um, so it really let me kind of calm down. Just do a couple quick news bits here, go over go over some opinions as well as get to get to some questions. I'd like to start doing questions a lot more. This is this is fun communicating with you guys. If there's anything I can do to make you guys like this video a bit more, please drop a comment below. If you liked it, do just that. Hit that like button. If you want to see more, want to stay up to date on everything Pokemon, go and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day.